There was a $5 million bounty on his head. Mullah Fazlullah was arguably one of the most dangerous men in the Afghanistan-Pakistan region. He was the head of the radical movement Tariq e Taliban Pakistan and was known for his hatred of Americans and the Pakistani state. But on Friday, Afghanistan's defense ministry said Fazlullah was dead, killed in a drone attack near the border with Pakistan. U.S. officials said it was a counter-terrorism strike. This commander was blamed for some uh, complex attacks, especially in Pakistan, in Peshawar back in 2014, that killed over 150 people in military school, and also some other major attacks that actually uh, made this group very well known. Fazlullah was accused of killing hundreds of Pakistani security forces and civilians in several large-scale attacks during the last five years and of ordering the shooting of Pakistani activist Malala Yousafzai in 2012. Afghan officials say Fazullah's death is a significant development in the fight against terrorism and will improve relations with Pakistan and the U.S. A day after his killing, the Afghan Taliban agreed to a temporary ceasefire with the government. It coincides with the end of the holy month of Ramadan or Eid al-Fitr. This year, armed Taliban welcomed our invitation and announced a ceasefire during eight days. The hope is that this ceasefire will continue so there is no more bloodshed. It's the first time the Taliban had declared a nationwide ceasefire in the nearly 17-year conflict. Many Afghans expressed cautious optimism at the announcement to celebrate a rare Eid without violence. Regan Evans, TRT World.